hey guys, it's me. Um, hold on, like my phone, I broke it. Like, it, I didn't break it. But, um, like, it works when it wants to work. And, like, a few of my keys, like, fucking stops working. The W and the Y stop working, and, like, a selective part of my touchscreen stopped working. And what doesn't help was I had it out in the rain. Like, I was talking on the phone in the rain. But it wasn't, like, a really, really bad rain. I was standing under a fucking tree talking in the rain um, because I got caught up in the rain. Yeah, the point is my phone isn't working. And it hasn't been working for quite some time. It's just, like, adding to it constantly adding to it. Um, yeah, so I'm mad because when I'm, like, soaking wet, I just got off from work. I straightened my hair today. And, like, it's just not, my hair is a jacked up mess. Um, what else can I say about today? Um, obviously, I I'm having some issues with the one I went on the date with. Um, because I'm nobody's secret, and I don't want to be a secret. So, I was going to tell him today, you know, as much as I would love for something to happen, like, I just, I can't be your secret. And I, I want to be his friend. I, like, I would love to still be friends with him, if that's possible. But, like, when it comes down to it, I don't want to be something secret. And I was going to tell him that. And then what didn't help was the e EMT dude that I was, like, talking to for, like, God knows how long I've been talking to him. I just seen him today, and, like, ugh, it hurt. It hurt my heart. So bad. And then I have to see Candace, and I don't like her because she, ironically, keeps getting my leftovers. Like, all the guys I've talked to, like, after I get done talking to them, she's, like, up their ass. And, like, one of the guys actually, she swindled her way into talking to him, and I was still talking to him. So, you know, I got mad at that, but I pushed it aside. I was like, whatever, I don't care. And, like, all the other guys that, like, I got done with, like, she's talking to. I was like, fuck that. Um, uh, what else? And, of course, she was talking shit about my ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend. Um, I don't even know how they got into conversation about them two, but here's the thing. Jay's known this girl for, I don't even know how long, before I went out with him, and she's 17 and he's 24. But his mom, her mom gives complete permission, like, it's totally fine with her, whatever. I don't care. Nobody else should care. It's not their relationship to question. But, of course, this skinky girl decides she was going to be all like, Oh, well, if I was 17, I wouldn't go out with somebody who's 24. It's none of your business. Who goes out with who? Like, if you were smart enough, you would be going out with an older guy. But, obviously, you don't want a boyfriend and you just want a guy for your personal needs. Um, but, I was 18 and he was 24. Like, like he's 23. He's 23. Going on 24, like, I don't see a fucking problem with an older guy. I'm dating a guy, like, I don't know how old. I like older guys. I don't see a problem with wanting a mature man instead of a child as a boyfriend, you know? So, like, I never had a problem with that. I just have a problem with bitchy girls getting in my face because, well, I have to work with my ex-boyfriend, their current boyfriend. Oh, that one's so bad. Can I get an iPhone? Yeah, after my contract ends, I'm seriously, like, investing in an iPhone. Like, I love, 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 love iPhones. 
like, I mean, I never had one <laughs> before, but, like, I like the whole iPod Touch, the whole phone thing, and this is, like, heaven in a phone. Like, I love it. Um, but, yeah, I seen Joey, and, and Joe, my, one of the girls, ladies I work with, she's, like, so sweet, she was talking about how I have a cute smile, like, I think she knew, like, I've been crushing on him for a while, and we've been flirting and shit, but she was talking about, like, just talking all this goodness about me, and, like, complimenting me, and, like, of course, she's just like, yeah, you're right, <laughs> I was like, oh. And then he came back in, he left, and he came back in, and he was all like, I'm like, you're back then, and he goes, yeah, I had to see you again, and I'm like, oh, I hear the guy, I was so cold. Yeah, it was really, 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 really cute. It made my day. Um, and it's like, so ashamed, like, I want to, like, pursue something, like, because I, I feel like, there's more to Joey than there will be with me and Scott. Like, I feel like I will forever be a secret and that's not going to change anything. Um, but I feel like if I pursue Joey, like, it's going to be something good. Like, there's actually some kind of hope of being in a relationship. I feel like I don't want to ruin that. Like, we... We do so good at Wawa. Like, what if he never comes back in? Can I stop saying like? <laughs> well, what if he doesn't come back in and I ruin that relationship too? Like, <laughs> I have talked to like a whole bunch of people that like. I'm sorry, guys. I've talked to a whole bunch of people and we became friends. And because I was too shy to be like, oh, I like you, you're cute, you want to go out with me? Which forms a friendship, and then, like, when it came time to actually pursue a relationship, like, I ruined it, and we're not friends anymore. And they were a really, really good friend. So, I don't want to ruin the friendship that we have at Wawa. Because, like it or not, there is a friendship. Okay. And um, I don't want to ruin that. And I don't want to ruin me and Scott's friendship because, well, he wants me as a secret. It's just really complicated. I feel like I should really just stay away from guys. But it's hard to stay away from a guy when you know, like, I haven't been with a guy for almost a year now. December will be a year. Yeah. So, I'm lonely. I need a guy. Like, I don't need a guy, but I want a guy. I want to finally, you know, feel like a guy actually likes me for, for me. And it's not like my nose ring isn't scaring them away. Because, well, it is. And it's not good. You know, everybody says that, you know. Scott's Jewish, so the reason why he can't talk about me in front of anybody is probably because of your things, because, I mean, I don't have to be Jewish. I really don't, but for to be a Jew, Jewish, Jews just sound so racist. I, I feel like calling somebody a Jew is like calling me a spick. <laughs> Can somebody, like, clarify that that's, like, offensive term? <laughs> To be Jewish, you have to be, to be buried with Jewish people, like, you have to be, you have to be buried the way you were born. And this, I wasn't born with any of this. So, like, it's, like, kind of a bad thing. I don't know. I don't want to, like, act like there's something special between me and Scott when, like, his family's not gonna like me. And I came from like two different relationships where like their family, like I got along with their family. Like I spent like every day with Jason at his house. You know, I spent the night with him. I practically lived with the guy who I hated my house so bad. Like we're always constantly fighting and crap. That you know, I, I just spent the night there twenty four seven. I was over there twenty four seven. 
and Ish, well, I spent, like, he was in jail for, like, most, like, half of our relationship, and I was the stupid one to be like, oh, well, let's just stay, because, you know, we had such a great relationship before he got into jail, and he was there for five months, and then those five months, like, I went to go see him twice a day, his family would take me when they went to go see him, his family would take me every day, every day they went to go see him, and when they had, um, when they had, um, holidays and parties and stuff, they would invite me, so I'd be there with their family, and then, you know, they would call me up, you know, and then we talked to Ish, they, I have such a great relationship with their family, I don't want to go into a new relationship, and his family hate me because something that it's me, I, I, I should have been born like this, to be honest, so, um, and, like, I want to go find Joey on Facebook so, like, he can see, like, what he's getting into before, like, he pursues anything, before I pursue anything. Like, I want him to know, like, you're getting stretched earlobes, like, septum ring, piercings, tattoos, like, all this stuff. Like, seriously. <laughs> I, I just want people to, like, know what they're getting into before. They talk to me because um, I I might take up the nose ring if like it's that much of an issue, but I don't want to. I don't know, guys. And I'm about to put my brother up here so that like I could so we can light my candles because my um torch like died on me. I've been trying to light it, use it for like God knows how long. Let's see. Is that? It's completely dead. I have matches. If I burn my fingers off and like I have to go to the hospital, like you know what happened. Like I'm not gonna explain why I'm in the hospital in like the next video, okay guys? Bye. <laughs>